Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh What's going on guys? Welcome to Amigos Code If you're new to my channel, go ahead and smash uh, the subscribe button because uh, you know that's the way I can grow and I keep on providing more content like this and also smash the like button, right? So it makes me really um, happy and knowing that you know you guys are actually enjoying this so I can carry on providing uh, content for you that will help you to become a much better developer. So this is what Amigos Code is about. So also if you are, um, if you're not, and also if you are not, and also if you are not part of the uh, Facebook group, go ahead and join because right now we are over 4,000 people, it, which is like insane, right? I remember when I started, it was just me, but over the, I think it was over the, over the last year or so, uh, especially last month or so actually, and you know, there's, there's been like a lot of people joining, a lot of people contributing. And now we have this thing called, this thing where we do um, uh, mentorship. So we have a couple of us where we mentor people, um, you know, guiding them on the right path in terms of becoming a, a better software engineer and, you know, securing a job and all, all of these things, right? So go ahead and, and join the private Facebook group. So in this video, what I want to talk to you about is the easiest way for you to switch careers right the easiest way for you to switch careers to become a software engineer if you have a job so this only applies for you if you have a job right so if you don't have a job i'm also planning on doing a video um on that but if you have a job right what is the easiest way for you to switch careers and become a software engineer so let me let me just tell you that and i know people that have done it you know in many companies and and i don't, I don't know whether it's, it's something that it's it's been mentioned out there but this is one of the easiest way so if you work for a company right if you work for a company and they are a tech company and even if they're not tech but if they use some some kind of technology, if they if the, the business, some part of the business, you have software engineers in house, right? So let's say you work in a department and you know that the company has software engineers within your company, right? It doesn't have to be uh, in the same location. It could be in a different location. But if there are software engineers, then you are in a good place. Now, let me tell you how. So. Let's say that you work for a company and, you know, they, let, let's say you work for Stripe, right? Or, or Twilio, let's say Twilio, or really it's any company, any company that they write software or they have some people writing software. So if you're gonna switch to, uh, to become a software engineer, this is what you should do. So I don't advise you to go to, to quit your job and then attend a bootcamp and then apply for jobs, right? D don't do that yet, right? So bootcamp should be like the last resource that you should try. So what you what you can do is, if you know that the company uses, for example, a particular language, let's say Python, right? So they use Python and let's say they use Golang as well, right? Or JavaScript, right? Like, let's say they use those these three languages, right? So what you do, what you do, so this is even before you switching and approaching people, what you do is you try and, um, actually you don't try, you go and learn these languages. So Python, Go and JavaScript. Go and learn these three languages, right? So, you know, the, the, uh, the, the platform that you should be using is YouTube, so you've got many people teaching you know these languages and they're really good and awesome content and i'm going to leave a link on some of some of the people that i recommend such as free code camp uh, travis in media and you know he's, he's got like lots of videos on javascript um there are many many people um out there uh, and uh, the content is amazing right so there you don't spend any money so you are learning uh, for free right so that's that's the goal really you, you don't want to spend any money so you learn for free and then you kind of join like for example my facebook my facebook group or any any other group right or any community that talks about coding right and that way uh if you have any questions 
you can you know post them and then people will get back to you and um for example in in my in my in my group we actually talk to people we have video calls and and so on and so forth right so go and join a, a community right so if you have any questions you you go and ask them so now you've learned the languages that the company uses what you need to do next is to try and build an application right an application uh, very similar to what they do right it doesn't have to be the entire application it could even be like a small feature right so let's say that you really like what they do um you want to for example you, you wanted to have like for example a feature that they don't have right so for example they might have they might have an api and you can actually connect to their api and then build like a, a small feature right that the company doesn't have but you think that it would be very beneficial for the company right you would do that and then that way right that way now you've you've gone off and learned the languages so you, sh you showed some interest but on top of that you've built you've built a project um and a feature that they even might be interested right so once you do those two things the next step for you is to try and see how you're going to um, approach someone within the company that can lead you to the right person. You might talk to HR or let's say you go for lunch with a software engineer. You might talk to him and tell him, look, uh, I've been thinking about this. I've been learning this technology. I've, I've even implemented this. Who's the best person to talk? And then they might direct you to the actual um, person in charge of recruitment or even the director or the, the, the you know technical lead it doesn't matter right it doesn't matter so once you um, reach the right person this is when you impress this is when you impress so you can talk about what you've done what you've built and I'm, I'm, I can guarantee you, like, I can guarantee you, you will blow their minds, right? So you, you can, you know, tell them that their story. You can say, look, um, you know, I've been thinking about becoming a software engineer. Uh, I'll, I enjoy my work, but I think um, I want to be, uh, you know, challenged uh, in a different area. Uh, I've, I've always liked, you know, working with computers and solving problems so i went away and then i built this application that uses the api and i, I was studying the application how it works and you know I, I saw that you were missing a feature and and then i tried to implement it um and basically there you're just showing interest right because now the company they don't have to go outside to hire people because First, they already know that you work within the company. So if, if they want to get reference, they can talk to, um, you know, your manager or someone that give that, that or, or someone that can give you or actually someone that can give them feedback about you. Right. So they don't have to go outside. Everything is internally. Right. And if they see that you are capable and um, you are willing to learn and you can fit their, their culture, I can guarantee you that you will switch careers, right? So this is what I recommend for people that want to become software engineers and they work within a company, right? So as I said, like the location, so for example, many, many companies have, for example, one department in one location and the other department in a different location. So, so this is actually totally fine. You just need to know how to approach the right people to talk to and, and see how you are going to, to make that transition, right? That switch, right? Um, and yeah, so I've, I've, I've been talking to people, for example, in recruitment, they are switching to software engineering roles. Uh, you know, the bootcamp industry is actually booming because software engineering there's lots of flexibilities there's lots of, of opportunities and the amount of things that you can build it's amazing right it's, it's amazing um so yeah so this is my advice um and i feel like um, if you for if for example you don't have um, a job right now and you are switching then i think your approach would be somewhat different and i've got you know really good advice uh, for you to 
to, to to apply right and also one one more thing that i actually almost forgot is make sure that you you learn about git so git um allows you to basically store your your code um you know in a repository and then you can you can sh you can share that repository with with people right because you know if you are talking that you have been building this stuff then you can say look i've built this stuff and this is my github repository and then what they do is just just go in and see whether you're not lying or, or not right so there they can see your code and they can see wow you know it's, it's got potential it's got potential right so this is this is what I, I wanted to talk to you about because i feel like um i'm not sure if i've seen videos like this or any anyone talking about this matter uh, and let me know let me know what you think whether you've you switch careers like this and maybe you know there is something that you want me to uh, spread with the wider community let me know right um and this is all for now so if you have any any questions as i said uh, I, I always say like if you have questions if you have questions or uh, if you need advice go ahead and join the group uh make sure to subscribe like literally subscribe and give me a thumbs up so i can keep on recording videos like this so this is all for now i'll catch you in the next one inshallah assalamu alaikum